have a couple of exercises here. I just want to just describe them and then I'll also demonstrate them. I put my little sawhorse bench out there in the background. Anyone else, if you're watching this, this video is for Kurt. You'd love him. He's a great guy. You can give it a like and subscribe as long as you're here. Might as well. So it was a uh, knees over toes guy and he's notorious for just like taking down all these videos. He like puts up these great videos and takes them down. So I wanna talk about some of these shoulder exercises. So one of them is the Powell raise, right? So um, I'm interested in shoulder strength for baseball and like a lot of the baseball exercises that you see online are like with these one pound weights and they'll be like doing like this and, and like this and whatever and circles with like one pound weights. Um, or bands, which I find just, I can't stand bands, it's so boring. So the first one I have on here is called the Powell Raise. This is one that's like, oh, that's a smart move. So you lay down on the bench and you extend your arm out in front of you and then you, you have to try and be strict with your shoulders that you don't start cheating, but you let that stretch come across here when the weight is pulling down this way. So it's kind of like this baseball stretch right here, but it's much better because then you have to lift out of the stretch and that's what really gives you the, the load and it's stretching through load that lengthens muscles. So that's the Powell raise. Um, the external rotation is kind of like one of these band exercises, which are just so boring with bands, but this is a really, really, really good exercise. Um, so, you have to do it in a certain way so like it's good to like prop your elbow up against your knee and that's what gives you that strict lever otherwise you know if you're just doing it like this like you see my elbows going above my shoulders below my shoulders it's not really the same every time but you do it the right way you get your elbow into your knee and it gives you this stretch right here which is hard to get otherwise and then you lift out of the stretch and that's what really gives you longer muscles this one's definitely my personal favorite. I think it should be called the Helga from Hey Arnold. The next one's also very interesting. Like, it's like, why didn't I think of doing that sooner? Which I find, like, the Powell raise is an obvious one, especially for baseball. Like, you do this at the beginning of, like, warming up. Why wouldn't you actually lengthen that muscle by stretching and lifting with it? So same with this one. You actually get your back onto the bench and you extend it all. It's like, oh my God, it's so good. It really like opens up so much that just never gets opened up otherwise. But it also opens up the chest, which I think helps the shoulders a lot. The shoulders are hurting from the chest being so tight. And then the shoulders are out of position and then they have these imbalances. So part of getting the shoulder health good is getting the chest to finally open up and stretch back so chest flies not bench press chest flies because that's a stretch and then you pull it out of it and when you pull that weight out while you're stretched lengthens the muscles and that also extends out to here into the bicep the connection between the bicep and the chest is the shoulder really so another exercise is similar to the chest fly where you lay back on the bench and you just hold, hold the weights as they hang off there. You don't need to go too heavy if you're just doing that for the first time. It's a really good stretch through here and all of this. And that really gives you more like a, like a neutral shoulder position or it helps push you in that direction. And with the neutral shoulder position, same with the cross bench pullover, it gives you this like more open chest and the chest lets the shoulders breathe a little better then. That's just an aside. So the first three have been Powell raise, external rotation, and cross bench pullover. And to it, add to the cross bench pullover, not only cross bench pullover, but chest flies. Just opens up the chest and gives the shoulders a chance. The next exercise is a 45 degree Superman. Honestly, even if you're standing up straight, it's still, it's really good. It's like this exercise right here with weights gives you a great burn in the shoulders, just blood flow in the shoulders. So that's the Superman. The last one on my list is, oh, this one isn't from ATG, but you know, once you start like seeing how these ATG people think, it's like, oh, well, I can actually just try and be intuitive here, figure out what I need and work backwards from that. So I want to throw a baseball 
I'm doing this. I'm playing around with this weight like this. Just take a like a small weight where you could go, I guess this is 1.25 kilograms. You could, I could take two of them. And instead of doing like these like circles with one pound, like actually do the circles with heavy weight. It's pretty crazy the different feelings you get in there. That's actually, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna lie, that's a little bit painful with even 2.5 kilos for me. I just threw two days ago, but yeah. Only throwing like 65, sitting 65 right now. <laughs> they have these great exercises from physical therapists, right? But they're mostly for people who are already totally messed up. If you know you're not in the shoulder shape you wanna be, but you're not totally messed up, you probably have more capability to do like heavier stuff. That's my main point here. Like if you can do more, you should do more. Does that make sense? That's pretty much it.